think that, uh, so you saw DeFalco catch the yellow card like a minute into the game. <laughs> Is that sort of the ref's attempt to try and set the tone early? Uh, I, I guess you could say that, yeah. And then, obviously, you get the substitute catching two yellows in a pretty short span. What was your, how did you feel about that? Well, you probably saw my reaction, but, but ultimately, again, that's where I think in a game like this, um, Crosstown rival, you've got to be absolutely certain there's intent, and to me, there was no intent, right? A player's closing down space slips. I get it, uh, but again, have a conversation. Let's try and keep 11 on the field. And, and, and have a good quality game. But um, again, I give our guys credit. They battled through the adversity and did their job. They did what we asked them to do, and, and I give them all the credit in the world. How did that? Uh, how did having a man set off affect your tactics coming out for the second half? Yeah, I mean, again, when you're down a man, there's just there's less time and space for you to take advantage of as far as on the ball, and then you just got more space to cover defensively. So definitely had to adjust a few things. But um, again, I thought the guys rose to the occasion really nicely. It seemed like you felt more comfortable moving forward as the half of the rest, and obviously that culminated with the game winning goal. Was that was there like a catalyst for that, or? I, not necessarily a catalyst, but I think, again, when you've got quality on the field and, and you're just relying on that quality to find those good moments, and I think they did that tonight, you know. You've got to settle in through the first 10, 15 minutes because you're not sure exactly how it's going to go, and once our guys felt that they could truly uh, have that confidence to play, I think you saw that as the half progressed. James found the back of the net four consecutive games now. What's been working for him as you guys played through? Yeah, I mean, Jaden, he's a big boy. He's tough to deal with, and, and if you can get him near frame, you know, he's going to be dangerous. And so that's really all we've been talking about, is just building up confidence and putting him in areas that he can have success. You guys have also scored in every single game you've played this year, and I think you're averaging over three goals a game between you and your opponent. Are you comfortable saying that that's possibly an identity of this team, is these high-scoring and dead games? Um, <clears throat> I'd rather not be high-scoring on both sides of the ball. Um, I think we've given up too many goals this year for sure. So, you know, give me a one nothing and, and clean sheets the rest of the year, and I take it. But yeah, I mean, ultimately the game's about outscoring the opponent, and as long as we're doing that, we'll be fine. Um, thank you so much, I appreciate it. Coach, what did you say to team at halftime? That's, uh, I mean, it's kind of it's a tough break, obviously, to go down a man, but it's particularly tough, I'm sure, to go down right before that right. whistle blows. At halftime, we just talked about, you know, we're in this game. This is our game. It's our home. we got to defend it. Um, the energy's there, and as long as they believe, they can go get it. We knew we did, uh, Robert Morris was going to be susceptible in certain situations, and we wanted to try to take advantage of those. Did you adjust anything, do anything differently in the second half down to the 10 men? or? Yeah, our formation was different in the second half. Um, you know, but we had to adjust certain things as far as, again, because you can't get pressure on the ball everywhere you normally want to. Uh, but again, that's where I give the guys credit. They, they, you know, they, they bent, but they didn't break. So, uh, I guess it's a unsurprising that, given how chippy the game got at times, it was one on kind of a greasy goal, a hard-working goal by Jaden. Yeah, I mean, you know, it was going to be an ugly game as soon as we went down to ten men, <clears throat> and it was just whether or not we had uh, had it in us to get that result, which again, we all felt we did. That's five goals for him already, and it's still pretty early in the season. I mean, is, it, is he doing anything differently, or is he just having one of those stretches where the ball's just going in for him? No, I think he's just him. He's just him, and we, you know, we're putting him in good areas to have success, and, and he's capitalizing, so all credit to him.